adaptive core management is a uh, is a combination of adaptive management and core management, and it emerged from our findings that over a period of time, core management tends to work through cycles. Uh, core management, of course, is the uh, is the joint management by uh, a government agency and some resource user group, and we find that core management is almost never a one shot kind of arrangement. There is usually some attempt to work together and then it sometimes breaks down and then reforms. But inevitably it tends to work in cycles where there is some practice, some learning, some experimentation and then a, a continuation of co-management through a second round, third round until some kind of, of working relationship is established. In the Canadian North, we find that it takes more like 10 years to get to a working relationship. Uh, in other parts, it may be shorter. Um, so that's co-management. On the other side, we have adaptive management. Now, according to the theory of adaptive management, you, you want active experimentation, which requires, for example, not harvesting a certain resource for an amount of time so you could see what, what effect this has. But in practice, you, you really can't uh, experiment with people. You can't experiment with social ecological systems. So um, in practice, much of adaptive management becomes a, uh, a, a matter of carrying out passive experimentation. That is learning by doing uh, through existing arrangements and, uh, um, and, uh, and existing rules. And uh, that also goes through cycles as it should, but also involves the users. So uh, adaptive management tends to incorporate co-management, while at the same time co-management uh, ends up incorporating a lot of the elements of adaptive management. So I think uh, in well-developed working systems of management, you, you have both of these processes happening. So that's why we've started using adaptive co-management. <coughs> 